question five we have what is the name of the compound with the formula N2F4? Okay, so N2F4 name. Now this one, it can be a little bit tricky, but the one thing you have to recognize immediately is that this is not an ionic compound. How do we know? Let's look at our periodic table. So according to the periodic table, nitrogen and fluorine are both reactive non-metals, okay? With that being said, this does change our naming quite a bit. We will still have nitrogen and fluorine. The one thing I'll change right away is that just like when we name ionic compounds, we want fluoride, I-D-E, as the end. But now it comes to what happens in between. For non-ionic compounds, so covalent compounds, typically we want to state the amount of each atom there are in this molecule. And we go through the whole mono, di, tri, tetra, on and on, but that's the key here. We need to state it. So because there's N2F4, we need to say that there's dinitrogen, and we also need to say that there's tetrafluoride. These two are needed for this to be properly named because that is what covalent compounds do. It also helps distinguish between covalent and ionic and also because covalent compounds typically are found like this to where they just have very, um, I guess, different structures. For example, if I just said it was nitrogen fluoride, it doesn't state how many um, nitrogens or fluoride there is. In fact, if I was basing off the electrons, I would probably say it was like NF3. Because that would probably make the most sense to me. But most of the times, nonmetals don't bond the same way as we do see in regards to um, ionic compounds, which is why we do have to state how many of them there are. Because there's many different versions of a nitrogen and fluoride bond in nature as well. So with that being said, let's see what we have. A is just nitrogen fluoride, not enough information. B, dinitrogen fluoride, close, but we need to still state the amount of fluorides we have. C, dinitrogen tetrafluoride, that is what we're looking for. So I'm going to say right away the answer is C. And D, nitrogen tetrafluoride, also close and may have counted if we only had one nitrogen. Because when there's only one atom of the first part of the name, we can get away with dropping the mono. Okay, but even then, you still wouldn't be wrong to still just add the model just to be safe. But in this case, there's still two nitrogens, so we needed that dinitrogen in front, which is why D is not the right answer. So in this case, only one that works is C. Let's see what our colleague says. The name is indeed dinitrogen tetrafluoride. Perfect. So with that being said, we move on to question number six. 